I went from a nice seaside ride and enjoying views like this to this. All because of one thing. Stay tuned to find out. I'm on Route 135 today, heading south towards Hosono Plateau in Izu Peninsula. I'm heading there to get a picture for my Instagram, cause it's all about the gram, baby. I head inland from Inatori. The road narrows as it takes me into the woods. Views like this wakes my inner child, and I imagine being on a speeder bike on the forest moon of Endor. The scenery opens up to the plateau, and I know I'm getting closer to my destination. The goal for today is to take a picture at Hosono Plateau with my motorcycle. The road narrows even more. There's really only space for one motorcycle to be going down this road comfortably. And of course, as soon as I say that, that's when I spot a car heading my way. I do the best I can to pull over to the very edge of the road without going into the soil. And as you can see here, the car just barely passes. Yeah, I was very close. And up ahead, I see a group of motorcyclists, but something's wrong. So I see one of the riders has gone off-road, most likely due to the car that just passed by. Uh, their friend's helping though, and so I just sit tight for a little while. But then I notice that none of them are actually knowing what they're doing, and the situation really isn't changing. So I park, and I'm gonna go help them. So my plan of action is to get on their bike and just ride it back onto the road. But as I start walking over there, you see a third person actually get on the bike and he has the same bright idea. He just rides it right back onto the road. Like so, easy peasy. I just really needed to stretch my legs anyways and appreciated the walk. So back on the road, heading towards Hosono Plateau. I finally get to uh, the place where we can enter the plateau, but the gates are shut. And man, was that a bummer. Yeah, the, the view was really pretty though. But as you can see, there's two riders. They look pretty bummed too, the, the road's closed. We're all just kind of thinking, huh, what can we do? And that's when I'm like, huh, there has to be a back road. And yep, sure enough, this could be it. So I'm kind of pondering, hmm, looking at my GPS and saying like, where does this road lead to? But it didn't really lead to anywhere and it just dead ends in front of me. So I just kind of give it a, a shot. And I ride up to see if the road continues, but it doesn't. And this is the point at which I'm like, hmm, maybe I can ride my bike up there. It's, it's a sport touring bike. It's not really an adventure bike, but uh, huh, let's give it a go. Maybe it'll work. As you can see, I'm kind of hesitant to do it, but we won't find out unless we try. So let's go, Satoshi. Woo! Yep. So in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, this ain't such a good idea. Do I have to really go up all the way up there? I'm like, nah, and I chicken out. And I'm like, I'm gonna find a road that goes around. So I head back onto the road and I try to find a different way to go around. So uh, here I am. This is the type of ground that I'm looking at right now. 
I don't know if I can pass through all of this. Yeah, look at all of this. I think maybe uh, the best route would be to come that way through here. All right, let's get this. Let's get all these rocks out of the way. These rocks. Oh, we'll see if I can get through. Oh man. So, uh, what I thought I had to go through that way turned out to be uh, the wrong way. So, I don't have to go through it. But I do have to go back. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to U turn on this really narrow road. Ah. Oh man, did I screw up. My plan of action was to back my motorcycle up until I found a place with more room that would allow me to turn my bike around. You can see me waddling backwards here. And then, this happens. Ah, shit. Oh, 